This is the year to fulfill your dreams. Joseph, in the Old Testament, was a dreamer. You know, and it says in uh, Genesis chapter 37 that he was one of his favorite one of his father's favorite sons. He was born to Israel uh, in an older age, and, and Israel loved him. Now, we know that Israel was Jacob, and God changed his name to Israel. It says in verse 3 of chapter 37 of Genesis that now Israel loved Joseph, and he was his favorite because he was born in an old age, and he made him... A coat of many colors. You know, it was a, a gift to Joseph. And of course, his other brothers were jealous of him, were envious of him, because he got this beautiful coat that they knew that he was, he was a favorite son. And, uh, and they were jealous. And it says in verse 5 of that chain, same chapter that Joseph had a dream. Have you had a dream? Has God given you a dream, a vision of what He wants for you and what you're supposed to be doing for your purpose and for your destiny? Joseph had a dream and he, he one mistake he made was that he told it to his brothers and they hated him for this. And so they began to plot against him. They began to uh, scheme a scheme. Uh, and they said, we're going to throw him into this pit and we're going to go back and tell our father that the, that the wild beast ate him up. And, uh, and so this is what they did. Uh, uh, they, they took him and they put him in the pit. You know, at this point, Joseph could have given up on his dream. His dream was that, that his brothers were going to come and, and bow down to him. It was, uh, he says, listen to this dream. Sheaves of grain out of the field. When suddenly my sheave rose up and stood upright, the others bowed down toward me. He had a dream of leadership. He had a dream where he would be in authority. He had a dream that he was going to prosper. It says also in verse 12 of chapter 37 that they went and got him out of the pit and are, are the slave. They sold him into slavery. And Joseph at that point in time could have given up his dream, but he didn't give up his dream. What is the Lord saying to you today? Do not give up. Do not cast away your confidence that has great recompense of reward. God is not a God that he should lie to you. If he has given you a dream, is he, if he's given you a purpose uh, and, a, and a word from him, he will bring it to pass. Can you say amen? One thing I notice about Joseph is that he kept a good attitude. He did not get down in the, the mully grubs. He did not get down into depression and say, well, these things are just not working. Uh, God must have been wrong, and, uh, and this dream is not going to come to pass. No, he kept a good attitude. And it says, if we, if we move on over to uh, chapter 39, that God was with him. God was with Joseph. And with God, all things are possible. So this day, I am telling you, I, God wants you to fulfill that dream that he has given to you. It says that whatsoever he did, God made it to be successful. God made it to prosper. If we turn over to uh, chapter 39, verse 23, it says here, uh, in the New International, it uses the word successful. Uh, in the uh, New American Standard, uh, it says, uh, because the Lord was with Joseph and gave him and, and made him to prosper in whatever he put his, his hand to. Whatever he did, it prospered. You know, in, uh, I, 
I taught a Bible study uh, last night, and the Lord said, tell everyone to hold out their right hand. And, and I went around and I anointed every one of their right hands. And the Lord said, whatever, tell them, whatever they put their hand to, this hand to will prosper. You know, many times we don't put our hand to anything. But God wants us to prosper. In Isaiah 48, 17, it says that it's God who, who makes us to profit. He teaches us how to profit, how to prosper, how to be a success in, in this life. In this life. God is the one that does that. You know, in, a, in another key word in that, that verse I just gave you, in, in Isaiah 48, 17, is that he teaches us to profit. There's some teaching going on. You know, I see this about Joseph, that he was meek and mild, and he was, he was humble in his spirit. He trusted the Lord, and he was teachable. God could teach him. When he was put in Potiphar's house, God was, was just with him and made everything to prosper and Potiphar's wife uh, wanted to uh, to have uh, intimacy with him but Joseph said no and, and God was with him and even though uh, the wife uh, began to tell lies on Joseph and Joseph was thrown into prison still he kept a good attitude still he was still teachable so God could profit him. God was with him even in the prison. And then we, as we carry on with the story of Joseph, we know that Pharaoh himself uh, had some dreams and Joseph was called in to interpret those dreams. And all of this, uh, the ball is rolling now. God's moving in his life. Hallelujah. You know, God wants to move in your life today. God wants to get the ball rolling in your life, in your finances, and in your ministry, and in your family, and in your, in your body. Hallelujah. He wants prosperity for you. Can you say amen? You know, what? And, and, and I just see Joseph. I see him never giving up, never losing that confidence, and hanging on to the dream that God has given him. Way back when he, was, when he was a young man, he never gave up on that dream. And then we see in uh, chapter 41 that Joseph was put in charge of the grain. Isn't this interesting? Isn't this interesting? God is bringing this dream to pass. Oh, hallelujah. The whole land of Egypt. Joseph was second in command. He was in charge of the grain. And people had to come to him and, and because there was a famine going on in the land. And how many of you know that there is a famine for the word of God going on right now in the land. And people will come to you and, and if you will hold on to your dreams, uh, God will bring you into that authority and into that leadership role just like he did Joseph. Well, what do you know? Here comes Joseph's brothers in chapter 42 of Genesis. Here come Joseph's brothers because they had no food, and their father Israel had sent them uh, to Egypt to buy grain. And uh, they didn't recognize Joseph. Joseph must have uh, changed in his appearance a little bit. He was older, and, uh, and he was set with authority, and he was in charge of all the grain, and they had to bow down to Joseph. Now, what about that? His dream was being fulfilled. How many of you want your dream fulfilled? God will do it. God will perform his word and he will make haste to, to do that. Can you say amen? This is the time to fulfill our dreams and take hold of those promises that God has given to us. 
for our children, for our grandchildren, for our, for our lives. This is the time. It's ready. It's ready. Your harvest is ready. Your dream is ready to just become, to burst out. Hallelujah. God wants that for you. You know, he told Joshua. He says, Joshua, just like I was with Moses, I'm going to be with you. And, and every place that you put the sole of your feet, I'm going to give it to you. Many of you need to walk around your house because one of the promises uh, that God has in his word is that if you are faithful, that he will save your whole household. You need to walk around your house just like Joshua walked around Jericho because every place that he put the sole of his foot, God gave it to him. Take your family back. Take your marriage back. Take your physical health back. Because that is prosperity. Prosperity in your spirit, in your soul, in your mind, in your body. That is God's desire. He wants your dream to be fulfilled this day. Father, I pray for everyone viewing this video. Lord, that you will just convict their hearts and let them turn their eyes upon you, Lord. Let them seek your face, Lord, and your kingdom, and let everything that they need be added unto them. Father, I pray for prosperity to come uh, to those that are viewing this video. Lord, in their, in their spirit and soul, mind and body, in their finances, Lord, and whatever, I want you to put your right hand uh, up right now, and, I, and you're going to feel the, the fire of God uh, go through the airwaves right now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I don't do this off the cuff. I'm, you know, I just I, I do it because the Spirit of God is telling me. And I right now, I speak prosperity to come every place that you put your hand to. I, uh, 